Hey, this is um, a wire mod tutorial. Yeah. On Gary's mod. And uh, this is wire mod. So this is the uh, first one we're going to do is a turret. So first you want to go onto your wire mod add-on and get a turret. And you want to choose a model, damage, bullet spread. And then you want to spawn it in. Like so. <laughs> Sorry for the background noise. Uh, next you want to go onto your input. Which is also my favorite. So choose out a model, hotkey, which is kind of the same as the fading door. So I'm going to set mine to R. Uh, just leave everything else normal. Then you want to spawn it. This is going to be a quick tutorial. Next, you want to go under here. You want to go under your wire advanced or wired legacy, whichever one you're using. Here, I'm just going to do this for example. Then you want to first look at this and you want to left click it. Then you want to hit this, left click it, then you want to, this is if you're having two turrets, left click, left click. Now uh, you can also have a button, there's the button, um, you could choose either one, uh, I'll just do cake. Uh, you can take yours on toggle or not, I'm going to take mine off. And to wire that, go back to your wire advanced. And then you want to wire your button. Wait, well. Nice. Yeah, I think you should. Just, actually, I have no idea. Oh well, I'm not try to use that. Um, then you want to actually instead of using just a wire button, just go on your normal tool tool button. Anyone use this? This is the same concept as the fading door. So my key on the wire turret was R. I'm gonna set that to R. You can have it on a. Uh, let's use this, and then uh. You can spawn it and it goes pretty far. So yeah, it spawns like that and it's pretty damaged. Like it does a lot of damage and you can like go in front of it and it kills you. So that's pretty good if you want to have like a security system I guess. Um that's the basic of it. You can do um thrusters to push a car. So let's say I want a car. I just need to spawn a car dealer. Just so people don't get mad, you know. Okay, uh, this is the first video I'm actually doing a background music, so if you like it, just tell me. If you don't, then tell me. So let's say I want a Bugatti. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. And uh, let's say I'm not satisfied with its speed. Now, this model isn't level. See, it's, it's always gonna push off to an angle, kind of. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, it will. Uh, but you can have it on like one side like that, one side like that, if you want to. But uh, normally I just weld a prop to it. So, uh, yeah, that's how I normally do it. But uh, then you want to, let me think. Okay, so once you have that welded on there, uh, you can just go back into your wire input. Same concept. Let's make it R. Actually, let's make it shift because you know that it makes you go fast. You just want to weld that like so, or uh, shoot it on there. Wire advanced tool. Shoot that. Shoot that. Shoot that. Shoot that. So that basically welds them both on there. And now, uh, whenever I click shift, I moves the car. But this is kind of heavy. I think. Well, hang on. I'm not sure. It should help out. Yeah, see, pretty fast. I'll show you how the default speed. You could use the other, uh, just normal thruster, but I feel like the wire thruster is uh, better. Here's the normal, and then with the thrusters. Um. Let's see if it does work. Well, yeah, it kind of pushes, but I like it a little better. Um, let's see. Next on our wire list is uh, one thing I like is the igniter. Um, which is really good if you uh, let's say uh, you're in this house here, and um, let's see if they let's well first here's your igniter. You can have it any range, I guess. If it wants to hit the wall, it's fine. 
uh, allow player ignition. You want that on there. You also want work. Let's have it there. And uh, there you go. Next, uh, this basically ignites them. So uh, let's spawn our uh, keypad wire if you have this. So uh, let's put that also on secure mode. While we spawn it, we can wire it. Um, hang on. Wait, no, sorry. I think we also have to have the number pad input. Let's make it shift. Let's have a keypad. Now then, for if you want the keypad to work, see right now, this is going to ignite if they type in the password wrong. So this is where the deny key comes in. So now you want to click shift. And uh, now when you shoot this, and you enter in the wrong password, it's going to ignite you. So now we just have to wire that whole thing up. <coughs> now we want to wire this to there, just by left clicking. And now, uh, let me just see if I have God mode. Okay. Now if we type in the password right, nothing would happen. But if we type in the, because this isn't set up yet. Um, but when we type the password wrong, it should ignite us. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, but I messed up on it. So, um, <laughs> I think I actually forgot how to do it. But I'm going to show you, uh, how to make a catapult, if you want, on a, let's say, uh, you want to catapult something across the map. So first, uh... Let's spawn our prop. I'm just going to have to enable something quickly. Okay, uh, now that I have that working, um, if you guys want, if you guys are also admins and you want to block a model like this big thing, and it's not even spawning, it's that big. Yeah, it's ghosted. But, uh, it would normally spawn. So, uh, if you, let's say, uh, <coughs> you want to spawn it. Or actually, uh, let's say we want to blacklist this. <clears throat> I don't know why you would, but you can. You can uh, hold down C when it's spawned. Right click like we did to disable collisions. But if you're an admin or so, you can click add to F uh, add to FPP blocked list, and you can do that from there. Um, but onto our catapult that we were building. Um, it's kind of hard to see. But, uh, let's say, let's get out one of these. Here we go. Nah, we need bigger. Yeah. So, uh, let's line it up. And, uh, for this, we're going to be using a new tool that we haven't worked on yet. It's called the ball socket. You want to keep the force limit kind of like the weld, but at zero. Torque limit, I guess zero. Uh, next, you want to hit it. And it kind of helps if you do two of them, so hit this corner, and then hit the ground, and hit this corner, and then hit the ground. And now, uh, see it kind of works like that, I guess. Like, I'm going to do this with a better prop, sorry, I'm having to stop a lot in this video. I'll make this quick. So yeah, you just want to hit the corners on the ground. Uh, there. And now it works like a ball socket. You can also have this for uh, doors, I guess you could have that. Um, let's see. So now that we have this, this will be like our hinge type thing. Um, next we want to go to the prop that's going to carry stuff, which would be this. Normally this is blacklist because, you know, it's just huge. Um, didn't really think this uh, video through, but... Uh, we would w then weld this prop to that prop. I'm trying to see if I can find a better one. Oh, uh, well. Um, so yeah, let's weld these two props to each other doesn't have to be perfect but it'll work 
So pull out a welding tool, make sure the force limit is zero. Doesn't really matter how many times you hit it. Uh, also, no collide, which will stop props from colliding with each other. Like the previous one, we just disabled collisions. So this one, we just left click there and left click there and see it, uh, this prop won't interfere with this prop. And sorry about the yellow-ish ring around the, my cursor. I'm using this new live streaming uh, program software, and it does that. So now uh, we can also here's a little handy tip if you have the physics gun out, and you wanna if you wanna unfreeze a lot of stuff, you just pull your physics gun, look at any type of prop, and click, and then you click R, and then it uh, unfreezes everything. So you can do two ways of doing this. You can have a uh, a thruster, which I'm probably gonna use. Um, I'm gonna have two. Cause I'm owner, I can, you know, change limits. So thruster, let's put this at max. No effects, I guess. Um, you can change the size of a lot of stuff on here. I also have two big ones. One right there. One right there. So now when we hold, uh, hang on. There. So now when we press two, it's gonna move, and when we press three, it's gonna go in reverse. But you can't see that, but you can hear it. Um. Oh my. That may also happen a lot when you're building something. It'll just backfire on you and kill you. So uh, now that we have this, when we press two, shoot to like that. Uh, it can't go any higher because of the sky limit, but you can just. Uh, once you have this, this is basic model of it. Um, you can spawn in some rag dolls. I'm just gonna change the limit on here. There we go, rag dolls, two. Uh, let's put Barney in. And G-Man. Uh, so now we have that. See, they kind of flew out, but I wasn't really prepared. So when you're, you can also uh, have a button as a hotkey like we had before, but I'm just not gonna do that now because uh, this video is already pretty long. Next, uh, when you hold down two and it stops, it's gonna catapult them. So that's pretty much how to use the, how to make a catapult on this. So yeah.